Well, this is an amazing day, isn't it? You know, um, one of the most often used phrases in the Bible is um, glory to God. And it sometimes gets used so often that it, um, the redundancy of it, the repetitiveness of it sometimes um, causes it to, at least from our perspective, that it sometimes loses its meaning. But um, today, there is no greater or better phrase than glory to God. there a better feeling in the world than having that feeling of going, oh, I think I have found the one. I, the, the only feeling I think that is better than that is what's actually happening here today. And that's not just a feeling of, I think I have found the one, but it's a, a feeling, it's a, a decision to tell someone that you're saying no to every other human being on planet Earth. And that's what you're both doing today. Isn't that a beautiful thing? That Caleb, you are telling every other woman on planet Earth, I think there's seven billion people or so. Let's just count a little more than half of those to be female. So about three and a half billion people, you're saying, no, this is the one. And Annie, you're doing the same. You're saying, out of all the men in the world, I could have chosen any one of them. Caleb probably couldn't have chosen any one of them. You probably could have. <laughs> And you're saying no to every single one of them. And you're saying, this is the one that I want for life. That is one of the greatest, most amazing feelings on earth. When someone chooses you. And today, you can delight in the fact that you have been chosen. My beautiful bride, we have finally made it. I can't believe this day is here. <laughs> in just a few minutes, we get to take this incredible leap of faith called marriage. Why do I call it a leap of faith? Because I have no idea what the future will hold for us. I have no idea where we will be or what will be happening in our lives a year from now, five years from now, even 20 or 30 years from now. However, what I do know is that I want to share every second of my future with you, no matter where it leads us both. Caleb, do you take Annie to be your wedded wife to live together in holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her? Will you comfort her? Will you honor her and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, keeping yourself only unto her so long as you both shall live? And then Annie, for you, I would ask the same question. Do you take Caleb to be your wedded husband to live together in a holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him? and honor him and keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, and keep yourself only unto him so long as you both shall live. Those whom God has joined together, let no man separate. And uh, Caleb, at this point, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>